What's up guys, it's CJ Lipstrew from PocketNow.com. In this video we're going to take a look at the hardware of the HTC Droid Incredible from Verizon. Like the HTC Desire and Nexus One, the Incredible is lightning fast thanks to a 1GHz Qualcomm Snapdragon processor. It also has 8GB of internal storage, 748MB of ROM, and 512MB of RAM. Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, GPS, FM radio, all the other usual suspects are here as well. The front of the device has a glossy black finish. Near the top we have proximity and light sensors, a metallic red speaker grill, and an LED light for notifications. Below the Verizon logo we have a large 3.7 inch capacitive multi-touch display with WVGA resolution, so that's 480 across by 800 down. Let's size it up next to a Touch Pro 2 with a slightly smaller 3.6 inch display. And next to an HTC Pure with an even smaller 3.2 inch display. The Incredibles display is of AMOLED technology, so blacks are going to be crisp and colors should be nice and vibrant. It should also help with battery life. At the bottom we have a row of capacitive touch buttons. The four buttons are for home, menu, back, and search. So far I've found them to be very responsive and they don't get in the way of uh, regular screen usage at all. Below that we have an optical trackpad for on-screen navigation which can be pressed in and used as a selector. If we turn to the left side of the device we have an up and down volume rocker a micro USB port. On the bottom we have a lanyard hole, a latch for removing the battery cover, and a microphone. On the right side absolutely nothing. And up top we have a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack and a power button. Moving to the back we have a beautiful 8 megapixel autofocus camera with dual LED flash as you can see it does stick out a bit but the edges aren't sharp at all. Next to that we have a speaker which I've found to be quite good in terms of loudness and uh, clarity. Large HTC branding and at the bottom we have with Google splashed along the bottom. So reading through some comments a lot of you seem to really dislike the multi-layer design of the soft touch battery cover. I certainly don't blame you as it is unconventional and it looks rather odd at first. I will say this though, during the last couple of days I've actually found that it's starting to grow on me. There's nothing out there that looks like it so it's kind of an eye catcher. Uh, the layer design helps improve grip and I just think the look of it fits the droid title nicely. Another thing I noticed is that it gives the speaker some room to breathe. So when it's laying flat on a surface it's not going to sound as muffled as it probably would otherwise. So while you may, may not like the design right now, perhaps after some time passes you'll find that it starts to uh, grow on you. One thing that does concern me is the quality of the cover. It feels solid while uh, attached to the rest of the phone as it doesn't really creak or bend inwards but when you remove it you can see that it's super flimsy and extremely bendable. I actually feel like it's gonna snap in half right now. Of course battery covers are meant to stay on most of the time and most of you aren't going to twist and torture it like I'm doing right now. But hopefully it still stays on tightly over time. As we saw during the unboxing the inside of the device is completely red. It kind of reminds me of an expensive sports car. And I can't say this enough, but I really like what HTC is doing with some of these devices. I think it's a good thing that they're adding these custom colors behind some of these battery covers. Uh, we saw with the HTC HD Mini, it has an all yellow interior. The Incredible has an all red interior. And I can't wait to see what uh, color we'll see next on a future device. So moving on, we have a micro SD slot on the side which supports up to 32 gigs. I really like that they put it on the side rather than under the battery cover 
which they sometimes do with some devices and it's really annoying. So let's go ahead and close it up. All right, with the battery in, the Incredible feels good in hand. It's really light, but with enough heft and grip to feel like it won't fly out of your hand, which is definitely a good thing. So this was a hardware tour of the HTC Droid Incredible. To stay on top of all of our latest videos, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.